I am sure. And welcome to readings. Aries. Aries, we're going to go to the Gilded Tarot. These are by Ciro Marchetti. I have a bit of a cold. Getting better. And I hope you'll be able to hear me. My subtitles are on. Turn yours on. If that doesn't work, get out the headphones. <laughs> and sorry about the cold. Okay. Aries. Aries. All right. Spirit's been in the room all day saying, do readings, do readings. And I just, I don't know, I just haven't had the energy. But it is now almost 10 p.m. And spirit is just relentless. So it's obviously something that has to be said. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, please don't make it fit. Let's go. Let's go. And breathe. Let spirit speak. Let spirit speak. Aries. Okay, so I have healing. You seem to have made a decision. It wasn't easy. You might still be trying to make that decision. But in the meantime, I think you got a feeling that I got to do some healing first before I can do some decisions about anything here. So. The four of swords, three on the wall and one on the floor. That one on the floor so you can jump up. Grab that sword, jump up. In truth, in victory, triumph. But with the two of swords straight up, it's telling me, Aries, that... Well, I had to tell you <laughs> exactly what it's telling me. Spirit? Spirit, very strong in the room, telling me that you know your decision. It's like sometimes when we flip a coin, we say to ourselves, okay, if it's head, heads, I'm going to do this. If it's tails, I'm going to do that. And so what you do is you flip the coin and heads lands there. And then you think, shit, I really wish it was tails. Then you know your, your answer. You know the decision that you have to make. Hello, buddy. Hello. But I really do feel that you have made a decision that I have to heal. I have to do some more healing before I can make a very, very hard decision. With the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. And the Queen. The Queen of Wands in the reverse. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Let's go. Down we go. Come on. All right. So the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. I don't know what you were looking for here. But it obviously, you obviously didn't get what you were desiring. Wands reverse. You didn't get the passion. You didn't get the desire that you once wanted. That you were hoping for. Maybe you thought you saw potential in someone, but maybe the potential just wasn't there. Well, I have the Emperor coming out with the Nine of Pentacles. Well, holy crap. Okay, so I do feel that something really went wrong. I do feel that you might have had mm, high expectations of something. I'm not really seeing love here, but I do see passion in the reverse. So it was some sort of a passion that you had for something or someone. 
But now with the emperor coming out here, followed by the nine of pentacles. This is what I like to call the tickety boo card. This is going up into the head. Looking around to see what's up there. What have you been storing? It's time to clean the hard drive. It's time to get rid of things so that I can become the emperor of my land again, the emperor of my ship, the captain. Somebody, when I'm picking up here, Aries is that somebody set your whole world on fire. Or you set their world on fire. They probably didn't know exactly what kind of fire that Aries can bring into the into their life. But even though Aries is a fire sign and definitely an emperor, I don't think this person was prepared. Now, do I see anger and, and passion here? I see the lack of passion, which tells me that you're not a typical Aries. Aries, very, very passionate, sometimes very angry. An emperor? Yes. Come on, girl. Stop me, you too. But <clears throat> the thing is, is what, I, what I'm getting here from spirit is that you might be a cusper. Or you could just be like one of these people that say, you know what, the, the Zodiac never really pins me down. The Zodiac never really tells my secret desires. The Zodiac never really resonates. I feel more like a Taurus or something like that, or Pisces. You're definitely different. It's just, there's something here. You could be an Aries uh, sun. Aries moon, something like that. I don't know. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. The security that you seek. Okay, and, and the Nine of Wands in the reverse tells me that you're definitely moving on. But the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, Aries. You definitely were seeking some sort of security here from somebody. You were hoping... The only thing I can pick out here is that you were hoping that someone would do right by you. But I think that mostly what I'm picking up here is you're, you're coming back to yourself, which is good. You are healing. It's hard to make a decision, but you are healing. You've come a hell of a long way. You're starting to see things that no longer serve you. And you're starting to come back as an emperor. With the nine of wands in the reverse, it just tells me that you're no longer carrying, even though it's still very hard for you to make a decision about somebody or something, you're no longer carrying all these wands with you. Let's keep going. Keep going. Let's see what spirit's bringing out here. Okay, so, all right. Whatever this is, uh, I'm really feeling that it's not going to be much longer that you're going to be having a hard time making this decision. I think you're ready to make a decision here. Someone failed you terribly. Now, it could also be that maybe you failed yourself. And, and that hurts too. Maybe you think to yourself, you know it. If I had been able to make a decision, then maybe things would have been different. 
but there is a lack of passion here on someone's part. With the moon card in the reverse, you're seeing things clearly, very, very clear. And the tower in the reverse. Aries, I really get this feeling that things are starting to pick up for you and starting to look up. I really do feel that uh, in 2024 that you have been doing a lot of work on yourself. 2023, from what I'm seeing, was probably freaking nasty. 2023 was probably extremely painful. And I think you told yourself when 2024 was coming around, you know what? I'm taking care of me. There's a lot of thinking here. And, and I think this lot of thinking, well, will open doors for you. Now, if it's not thinking, that usually is thinking, air, energy, air, mind, mind, emotion. Opening up doors and opportunities. Spirit is indeed going off to look for passion, darling. Okay, going off to look for passion. Well, your nine of cups is right here. Okay, Aries, let's wrap it up. I don't know what happened here. I really don't. Hurt like hell. Hurt like hell. But, you know, you told yourself that you got to do something. You got to walk out of a situation. This is something that there was no equal give and take. This is something that you saw a lot of potential in. But this is something where you felt that there was no passion. Now going upstairs and, and looking and rummaging around and getting rid of things that no longer serve you. Bagging it up. Throw it out to the curb. You really wanted a lot of security here with somebody. But the security wasn't there. You're seeing very, very clearly. Getting better day by day. Very, very proud of you for that. And you're thinking. Now thinking. I want to say it's probably manifesting. You're manifesting doors to open. And what are you looking for, Aries? Well, I got a feeling that you're, just, you're looking for passion. I feel that you're looking for love. I feel that you're looking for blessings. I feel that you're looking for um, <laughs> spirit. I feel that you're probably looking for the church, and, and this is marriage, and, and this is a tradition, also spirit. Well, you're going to find it. It's not going to be something that's going to be hugely over glamorous. And it's not going to be uh, you're going to live in a freaking mansion together. Is it a good life? Yeah. It's a beneficial life. You will find what you're looking for. With the Nine of Cups here. Now the Nine of Cups is success. But I'm not feeling that this is success like, wow, winning the lottery. Or, wow, living the, living the dream. But the dream here, the dream come true here, is wanting to find this passion. Wanting find an opening I think you're looking for love and I think you've had a hard and difficult time finding it but it will come yes and I do see the marriage card I do see the church but if you think that it's going to be like <laughs> movie star life no but it will be nice. One more card, Spirit. It will be nice. <coughs> I should have listened to Spirit. Okay. It will be very nice. Your dream will come true. You will meet this person. You will find that passion. You will get married. And, and I do think it will be a very nice, a nice life. 
So, bless your heart, darling. There's a Virgo here. There's Pisces. There's Gemini and Aries. There's Pisces. There's a Taurus here. And a Capricorn. Aries. These are the signs that are prominent in your reading. Uh, your reading is nice. It's a good reading. It's not fame and fortune. But it's what you want. It's what you're looking for. And it will come to you. You will find it. Continue to heal. And continue to try to make that decision. I want to thank you for joining me today. And if you like the way I read, please like and share. And before you go, Aries, reach back and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to ring the bell so you'll know the next time that Spirit and I are in the room to speak with you. Namaste.